Hi, this is Ike from Groovy Entertainment. Today we got another book on record to play for you. Today's book is The Buccaneers from 1979. So let's get started. This is your kid stuff read along book. Every time you hear this chime. that you are to turn the page in your storybook. Now we are ready to begin our adventure. Open your book, and we will start the story of the Buccaneers. Remember, when you hear the chime, turn the page. Life on the high seas was always exciting, especially for William Jason. All his life he had wanted to be a sailor, and now he was. He had waved goodbye to his family as the ship sailed out of the harbor and into the open sea. William could not believe it. It was a dream come true. He was now a sailor of the sea. Soon the sailors became accustomed to their duties aboard the ship. After work, William would like to look out at the ocean. One day, an old sailor by the name of Dick Patterson walked over to where William was looking out to sea and said, First time at sea, boy. William told the older man. That's right. It's a very exciting life. The old sailor told him that there was nothing like the life on the sea. It was filled with adventure and excitement. Especially when you're hauling important cargo. This was the first time that William ever thought about what the ship might be carrying. Do you know what is down below? I see two of the king's own guards standing at the cargo door. What is down there? Inside this ship's hold, William, is the king's own gold. There must be millions of dollars worth of gold down there. We're taking it to the king. The idea of having so much gold aboard the ship that he was sailing on made William all the more excited. The ship sailed on and on. One day, William was looking over the starboard side when he saw a ship in the distance. He called out to his friend. Patterson, look over there. What kind of a ship is that? The old sailor looked, and then in a low voice he said to William, Looks like buccaneers, Billy boy. They're watching us. William asked. Buccaneers? What are they, friend? The old sailor turned and looked William in the eye and said, Hey are the villains of the sea. They're pirates. They steal the treasure on board ships and then sink them to the bottom of the ocean. William looked over at the ship. Maybe it is just another cargo ship like this one. The sailor looked at the ship and shook his head and said, I hope it is, Billy. I hope it is. But it wasn't just another cargo ship. It was a ship filled with the roughest and toughest pirates on the seven seas. They knew what the other ship was carrying. Their captain, Peg Leg Ike, was watching the cargo ship through a spyglass. He called out to his men. Yeah, there she is, men. The ship laden with the king's ransom. Just asking us to take it away. The pirate crew let out a cheer. <laughs> One of the men called out. What are we going to attack, Captain? The captain turned and said, We have plenty of time. Let's play cat and mouse with them for a little while. And they did. Everywhere the cargo ship sailed, the buccaneers followed. The captain of William's ship called to his men and said, The buccaneers are following us. They must know that we have the king's treasure on board. We must be ready for an attack. and asked, What shall I do? Just take the sword and your pistol and fight for your life. On and on they sailed. And then during the night, the pirate ship moved closer. And with the morning light, they shot a volley of cannon fire at the cargo vessel. The alarm was sounded. The pirates were going to attack. 
and attack they did. Soon the pirates had pulled their ship alongside of the cargo vessel, and they began to board her. The pirates were fierce fighters. The pirate captain called out, Capture the men and the gold shall be ours! They fought for most of the day, but the sailors were no match for the pirates. Soon they were all taken prisoner. The pirates were rejoicing as the captain called out to them, <laughs> Pirates were singing and dancing over the ship when the captain yelled out, Get the plank ready! The plank was placed over the starboard side of the ship, and the captured crew was lined up. Now we'll have you walk the plank. All will go but one of you. I need a cabin boy. captain of the buccaneers looked over the captured sailors and then he pointed at William and said you boy what is your name William called out William Jason sir the captain ordered that William was to be spared you're gonna make a fine pirate my lad so William was saved from walking the plank one by one the captain and the crew of the cargo vessel walked the plank and fell into the ocean when it was over and the treasure had been stored on the pirate ship cargo ship was set adrift. When it was a safe distance from them, cannons roared and the cargo vessel began to sink beneath the waves. The captain looked at his new cabin boy and said, Soon you will be a real pirate. William knew better than to say anything and he began to work on board the pirate ship. The men on this ship were different from those on the cargo vessel. They were loud and rough and always ready for a fight. One morning, the ship dropped anchor. The buccaneers lowered a boat that was filled with the gold from the raids they had made on ships. Come with us, boy. We're going to bury the treasure and come back for it later. So they rowed the treasure-filled boat to an island. And there, the pirates dug a hole and buried the gold and jewels. When they were done, the captain looked at the men who had dug the hole and said, It will not do for you men to be able to tell anyone where the treasure is. So he pulled out his pistol and shot the man. William looked at what the captain had done and started to run across the beach. The captain called out, Stop! I won't harm you, boy! But William did not believe the captain. So he ran until he was deep in the jungle. The captain tried to find him. But since he had only one good leg, it was impossible for him to follow the boy deeper into the jungle. Soon William watched as the pirate ship sailed off into the distance. He walked to the beach and hoped that a ship might pass by and see him. He waited and he watched. He felt strange being there all alone. He wondered about his family back home and hoped that he would be able to see them once again. Then he realized that he could not sit there doing nothing. So he began to explore the island. One morning, as he was exploring the western side of the island, he found a small lagoon. There was an old boat in it. William looked around to see if there was anyone nearby. He found no one. So he decided that the boat must have been washed ashore during a storm. He made certain that it was seaworthy, and then began to collect fruit and foods and water that he could take with him. Then he rowed off into the open seas. Three days passed before a very tired and sunburned boy was sighted by a large cargo ship. He was brought aboard and he told the captain, Thank you for helping me. Another day or so and I would not be alive. He was happy to learn that the ship was heading for his home port. Soon he would see his family and be able to tell them of his adventures with the buccaneers. Years went by before William set sail on another ship. But this time, he was the captain. He sailed to the island where the treasure was buried. He dropped anchor, and then they rowed ashore. All was just as it was years earlier. He remembered exactly where the gold was buried, and it was dug up. He took it back home where he lived the life of a king for the rest of his days. William was very thankful to the buccaneer who had saved his life and who had buried the treasure. He was thankful that the treasure was still there, and it had made his life so much easier.
So that was the Buccaneers for 1979. So if you like, subscribe, share, and comment, have a groovy day. Our next book would be Luck a Butterfly.